bastard. <laughs> Little did you know, this was actually a Gestalt campaign. <laughs> yes, you knew. We knew. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a huge surprise because even I didn't know that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the end is just going to look like the fucking Death Star where we just all link up our disintegrate beams and they just all fire up. <laughs> the end is nigh. <laughs> fire the lasers. Everyone combined to disintegrate beam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as Doctor Strange will say, that we are in the end game now, bitch. I mean, without bitch, but <laughs> you sure? <laughs> anyway, I presume we take the AC and CMD, or does anyone else have any cooler idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say AC and CMD. Yeah. yeah. Uh, considering he's saying it's insane, that makes you makes it likely that you can grab it, and then AC helps everyone else else out because fuck missing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. F final choices. Yeah, in reality, spells might be bad. Nah, fuck it, let's go. All this right, is so uh, let me say uh, with reducing AC by 10, its current normal AC is 45, its flat AC is 35, uh, and its touch AC is 19. Is that with the minus 10? Yes. Jeez, okay, well, fucking crit fishing, here we go. What's CMD? Uh. And with, I mean, you you have touch, I see mechanics. I mean, it's starting CMD for grapple was 99, <laughs> was 99, and I'm gonna like you know rounding it up so by half. So its current CMD against grapple is 50. Okay, that's beatable. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's actually relatively like he has a chance of me not working, but it's like. I have over a 50% chance of it succeeding now with all these buffs. No. And I decided that uh, AC is reduced only by 10 because A, that reduces all types of AC, and I know you guys have things that can ta target touch AC, and perhaps you will also be able to do something that allows you to target uh, flat AC, because its flat is flat 30, 35. So its regular is 45, flat 35, touch 19. Those are current. <laughs> We're gonna need you to bend it over backwards, Azrak. I imagine so. Okay, so you're I, starting. I, I have a question. So your token is 15 by 15. Yes. How much rope do we have? <laughs> well, if, if there's any constellation, unless I roll a nat one, my bounds will hit. And just yeah, so I'm you know, <sighs> this. This has Monk of the Sacred Mountain stuff, which means if it doesn't want to move, it doesn't move. Oh yeah, that's not the thing. Um, I'm just wondering if... how much rope can we get? <laughs> Gotta tie it up. Um... Exactly. If we tie it up, it becomes helpless and we can just start coup de grying it. <laughs> I think that's uh, point is probably. It, I certainly hope the GM has some mooks to show up and push him off it. <laughs> or it's uh, I mean, look at the turn order I put in something. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right. I mean, if it's Maokai XP, of course, saplings have to show up. Yep, yep, yep. They're gonna blow up in our faces and take half our HP away. Mm. Stop reading my notes. So I don't know. I don't know. Did this Maokai build AP or? Mm -hmm. I mean, exploding runes, essentially. <laughs> Similar work. Anyways, uh, yes, standing against you faced colossal creatures uh, before, but here, standing against this massive colossal living twisted tree, knowing that you have to fight with this, otherwise, like this is you are. This is the part of the final gambit of d d disabling the storm. Allowing your guild to send message for help and assistance, and maybe somehow turning uh, turning things around. So knowing that there's no escape, and this is all for nothing, all or nothing. With renewed fire in your hearts, you stand for what very well may be your final battle. Uh, being... This really will be the final fantasy. <laughs> 
kill chaos. I want to kill chaos. <laughs> Fitting. We keep shouting over each other, trying to talk. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, sorry, Abby. Simple, right. your turn. Uh, right here. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Zach, please no. Alright, then I will move to. Oops. Uh, sorry, one last thing. Uh, I, oh no, wait, because you don't. I forgot to put it visible. Uh, yeah, that aura. It, it doesn't have aura, it, it's its reach. Alright, question is. Uh, how high is this cavern? I mean, this cavern. Okay, a cavern is. If a creature is 30 feet. A uh, cavern is. Uh, sadly. Uh, 40 feet up high. Alright. So let's see. I will move there. And I'll have him go up. Uh, yeah. We'll go up 30 as a precaution. So this will be a. This will get negative 2, but. Uh. Question, do you guys plan on going in right away? Well, yes. Of course. Well, there is a reason is because uh, yes. I was going to throw in a fart grenade. Well, you can just throw it behind it now or even on top of it because it's so big that the square is All in right. the middle of it. Uh, is it a disease uh, or poison effect? Uh, poison. Yeah, mm. not it. Uh, yeah, make some nauseated, uh, fog cloud. Actually, actually, just to be sure, because I think you guys have like, uh, because this is like a plant. Uh, you can make quickly all of you knowledge uh, nature, I believe. Actually, ah, right. knowledge nature or arcana, whichever is higher for you guys. Okay, so this time hmm. Cheruk has a big brain. Wait, wait. Ah, I rolled low. <laughs> so you know, this is like a very rare creature, and the creature of this size even rarer. But oh, no. some of its capabilities have become uh, well known or terrorized, and this is essentially uh, what it has. So, immune. Disease, electricity, mind affecting, paralysis, poison, polymorph, sleep stunning. Mm. So that's why I ask if the fart cloud counts as a poison or disease. I'm pretty sure it counts as a poison. Uh, since rather uh, It doesn't actually It's, it's a... Uh, Uh, it just says living creatures in the cloud become nauseated. It doesn't say it's a poison or anything else. Uh, what's the f stinking, uh, uh, stinking cloud? Effect. Yes, uh, it's a poison effect. It says there at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is a oh, poison. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how to read, okay? <laughs> I noticed this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I you know what? Then I I will throw da, 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 one of these and try to think fast bombs and two weapon for you. I can throw how many bombs in a uh, in a round? Do you have only two weapon fighting? I have two weapon fighting. I have fast bombs. Do you have greater two weapon fighting? Uh, negative. What is your BAB? Nine. Four. Alright, so I can only throw four bombs? Mm-hmm. Alright. Then I will do that. They are all at minus four to hit. <clears throat> Well, considering I have plus 21 to attack right now. Uh, 
So first we will do this to see if he gets not prone. If it's a tree, can it be prone? <laughs> is it like stuck in the ground? Or is it like a tree and it's up and moving around? Oh, it can move. If it chooses to do. But if it's not moving, uh, then it's impossible to move because of the second mm -hmm. mountain thing. All right. So let me let me see. It's not base. It's not immune to being prone, but well, you didn't lower the. I mean, even if lowering. Okay. So. It'd be twenty six. You need a fifty. Yeah, it it's fine. All right then. But it does it does hit the touch hits oh, so for to say twenty twenty four. Uh, add nine to that because I have a target add mixture, so my Minus nine. I don't do splash, but it uh, what's the name? I can add double my uh, int modifier. Okay. All right, so then I will do. <laughs> come on, come on! There you go. Ooh. Uh, Does one, he... one crit miss? Uh, it... Not one. On one bomb. But the other no, one. I'll talk, I'll... The one that one confirms crit. Alright, then give me a second because I actually get something because of a uh, grenadier when I crit. Uh, Alright. Alright. DC equals the. You want next right. time I make a character, I can make Megamine. Alright, um. Alright, I'm gonna need a. Fortitude save. Yes, yeah, so I'll be playing a Fireball Sorcerer. DC 25. Yeah, it. it I mean, it's, it's, it's saving throws are out of its ass. Alright, but it is. Alright, that is stagger for one round. Because of staggering less. There you go. All right, so it's staggered for one round. Yep. One left round of action. All right, so that is. Let's see. Right. Now, is it uh, weak to fire? Because those are all fire damage. Uh, it has resist fire forty-five, I believe. All right. Yep, yeah, resist fire 45. Okay. So, question, because I need to, like, remember, do you, like, count in the plus nines or. Um, oh, I right counted now. everything, alright. And that's, alright, so total 85 with uh, fire resistance. So, all of your attacks, so starting from, like, the start, so 85 total. <laughs> uh, alright. Right, and it is staggered, so I. Uh, let's see, like one, one turn. Mm hmm. Alright. That means it can either do a move or a standard, it can't do a full round. Alright. I mean, that's useful because mm -hmm. then it, it, it cannot do flurry of blows, and the flurry of blows just like turn into paste everything. <laughs> Alright, and other turn? Yes, it is. Alright, you are pretty sure the creature can move. But it doesn't have to. Uh, through its arm, through its massive arm, you see suddenly spark of energy. Uh, the blue color swiftly turning into twisted, corrupted shade of purple, red, black as uh, onyx. It outstretches its uh, hand in like a finger motion, points towards uh, Abby. And then, as a standard action, as an innate spell, is using casting lightning bolt. Oh, uh, then as immediate action, I am becoming invisible. <laughs> that um, is not going to help. Yeah, you go invisible and then you get hit by the lightning bolt. Roll yeah. a reflex saving throw. Ah, crap. <laughs> then I will, I will hold yeah. off that. <laughs> uh, you already said it. I thought if. 
I mean, we, we've already cancelled stuff that wouldn't work, so That's let's fair. cancel this one and just roll the reflex save then. Yeah, mm. DC 21 mm. for half damage. Woo, okay. A I have a good chance. foot line as lightning bolt strikes you for. <laughs> so, unless you have evasion, you will take half of that. This, uh, let's see here. I mean, well, and since, also, and since it's... You are riding on uh, Bati, and it's a line, yeah. so I would say Bati also has a... Yep. Yes. So and what was the... D it's 19 total, because the D DC for the was 21. Alright, so he passes, he takes no damage, because he actually does have a vision. But I take half of 44, which is 22. <sighs> Alright, because All right. of the bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and that was his uh, turn. And I believe at the start of its next turn, the staggered will go away. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. It All is right. no longer staggered, specifically. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. it's not staggered right now, right? So... Yeah, it had its turn being staggered and it's no longer staggered. All right. Zixos, you just saw this creature having some sort of magical potency. Electricity is to be specific. Mm, quite rude, you know. I'd like to be using electric stuff, you know. <laughs> anyway. Zixos is going to charge in. Make an attack of opportunity if you so desire. Uh, considering it has combat reflexes, it will absolutely do so. Quite rude. Since I can just move, I'm gonna take this. Click his feet together to gain haste, so not a plus one to hit. Okay, it has. Uh, Alright, did, you didn't reduce the. to hit. Nope. So oh boy, this is gonna good. fucking hurt. Hmm. Unless you have, I mean, you still have counters and whatnot, so... Dun. I I believe in you, and I believe in myself to roll a 1. I believe in myself that believes in you. Mm. Alright, oh, that's a slam. 48. Let me check. Plus four, no. If I had my other stance, but it's immune to electricity, that would have worked, but that's a hit. Mm hmm. I cannot cancel anything but damage, so roll the damage. Alright. Oh, you do have something that can reduce. Yeah, but if it's, okay. if it's that worrisome, it might not work. Alright. Uh, well, it's a fucking colossal creature, so. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> that it certainly does. Sixtus goes down from a, a, a splendid 81 HP down all the way to 17. Mm -hmm. He looks significantly less green than before, mostly because, you know, a rip HP. Um, so the rest of the party sees as Zixus charges through and suddenly out of nowhere, there's like whew, fucking humongous arm just swipes. Doesn't take him out, he like still finishes where he goes, but you for a moment you could have sworn that he was bended in half essentially. <laughs> Not a good time. Uh... I didn't realize Zixus was a reed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is plus two to hit. Uh, <laughs> Zixus tried to oh, yeah, yeah, recover, <laughs> some, recover some of that HP, dude. That crit's confirmed. Even if you didn't reduce AC, yeah, mm -hmm. that's that crit confirms. All right, 22 plus 25 plus 11 plus 21, 76 damage because it reduced the acid damage by three. 76 damage and success heals 22, which is not gonna do much, but okay, it's better 76. than nothing. All right, mm -hmm. All right, uh, very well. Uh, yeah. You managed That's to find. Uh, yeah, actually, I forgot to <coughs> mention. So when you decided to pick those options, at the very start of combat, you have seen that the, this mode of light that traveled with you uh, just charges straight forward, like in 
impacted the uh, Twisted Guardian and you have seen that uh, it's like not peak, but like the natural armor, the plates of hardened wood and whatever constitutes as an armor of this creature uh, started cracking a little bit. So that's how it's uh, mm -hmm. And then the light just disappeared. I had the feeling that, well, it couldn't say, but you, you think that it would have said good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. That was success. Uh, Chariuk. Okay. So, going to activate his flying, he's going to double move over here and uh, 20 feet up. All right. And his falcon is going to go over here. Um, if you could uh, give him, uh, like, uh, so I can see Activation. what he's doing. Uh... Does that work? Uh, I can see his token, but I can't see anything, any of the surroundings, but... Alright, oh, because fucking... Actually, fuck. Why bother with night vision? Because the place is lighted up, so... I'm in daylight mode. I'm an idiot. Okay, it should work now. Hmm. There we go. So let's see how far was that. What five feet? So he's going to fly over here at about thirty feet. All right. Very well. That's your turn? Yep. Nero. Uh, give me just one moment. I think I've actually completely just forgotten to quickly check something. Um... Facing perhaps one of the greatest challenges so far in your life. Okay, okay so that should be there and then this. Okay. So I forgot to include my dark focus uh, thing from the, the most recent level up. Okay, well. Nero is going to. Uh, Come on, roll 20. <coughs> is going to teleport in. Uh, as he goes to use Time time Thief's Talons to strike at the beastie. And I believe miss. Sadly, and this is against regular AC, right? Yes. Sadly, that is a miss. What yep. are we looking for? 45. 45. Yeah, the yeah. regular one, 45, yes. That's after yeah. the reduction. Uh, well, uh, then I'm going to, as the final swift action, claim it. So. Actually, I might as well uh, do this like that. Uh, Candel. I see 45. Touch. I see. Flat AC uh, 35. Okay, I think all of you should be seeing the. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, that's your turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Alright, so at this turn, uh, in those weird hole like shapes. There's a new sound, and and then you see uh, fungoid-like saplings pop up from from the ground. And actually, I will have to I will have only one of them, or actually for each. So that's only one, but from the second hole will be two. All right, and uh, yeah, they show up. That's all they do for now. Azrak. I am going to use a strike. 
because you know that's the thing I'm good at. Mm hmm. There we go, this one. Uh, make a charge attack against the uh, guy. Good thing I also have that twen uh, 20 reach. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it really is like rock and sock and robots. Mm -hmm. We got the kite drop in this shit. Charge. Recalc to make sure everything's right. Oh, and actually, I need to like add one more thing. Uh, CMD. There we go. One roll twenty. Work with me here. No. <laughs> no. There has to be some way to get another plus one. Ah, uh, is that what they have to add it as well? Yes. Ah. Uh. See, maybe I should have given you the potion of good hope, <laughs> but that's mine. <laughs> Any other way you could get plus one. So, so what, what have you got? You've got the charge bonus. You've got Added in. Zixus's got heroism. Thing. I got Zixus's thing. I have I uh, being I larger. I have the strength bonus. I mean, if you wanted, you could charge here to the side uh, and then make an attack like that. <laughs> Would Actually, only... that, that brings up a good point. I could charge to here and do the same thing. Yeah, that, that air would probably be the better one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah, you would get. <laughs> then I'd have flaking, and I'd be yep. at 46. Yeah, and that's yeah. a hit. <laughs> Which leaves me with a uh, successful grapple. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so, yeah, you have figured out what bonus you are missing? Yes, uh, flanking bonus, and I uh, mm -hmm. charged a different direction to get it. <laughs> Okay, fair is fair. Uh, yeah, with tw 46 you hit, and yeah, that's 63 CMD. Definitely, definitely hits. And I managed to grapple it. <clears throat> so. And yeah, technically the creature has different sorts of DR, but with the weapons you have, I'm just like ignoring. That. So let's see, it's 31 plus 32. I'm gonna count this as a free media buff that DR's disabled essentially. And. I mean. 97. Technically, it gets a fort save. 97. <laughs> it would be nauseated. I mean. Unless yeah. it's immune to nauseated. Nauseated specifically, no. I did put like a list. It's somewhere. probably gonna pass because it's uh, DC 17, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's. We are not doing auto fails on mm -hmm. saving throws, so it passes because it has like oh. 37. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's your turn. Yep. Alright. Uh, Abby. Nom nom. Ten miles. All right. Yeah, I figured. I grab I grab some for lunch real quick. Uh, all right. Mm. I think supposed to get further minus two to it. It's minus four to dex. All right. Uh, I will stay thirty feet up, and I will swing up over to. Uh, to make sure I make this flight right. I don't want to get inside of its range. I mean, can grapple creature do attacks of up? Yes. Oh yeah, then 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 yeah, you don't want to get inside its range. Yeah. You don't. Want he to gets a minus to hit, but yes. All right. Now, question is: Is it immune to force damage? 
or resistant, I should say. No. All right, then I fixed my. I made a thing for this, so hopefully this should go right. It has a fuck of CR, but no, it doesn't have force resistance. Yeah, that's all force. And all of them hit. Woohoo! That's. I was, very, uh, I was very disappointed to learn that Gunslinger didn't have a Path of War archetype. <laughs> mm, sadly, but there's like Mystic Gunslinger, so yeah. 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 Alright. Right. And that is all I can do for now. Very well. Mr. Guardian uh, being grappled. So when it's grappled, uh, it cannot do Flurry of Blows because that's a full round action. Correct. No, no. Okay, so oh, really? it cannot do that. Mm. It, uh, can, um, it can attack you, or just attack in it, general? It, it can attack me, it can attack someone else with a minus to hit. It can make a combat maneuver to try to break out. It can make an escape artist to try to break out. Okay. Uh, okay, and let's see what's... I mean, the innate spells would require... Concentration checks because are they spells or are they spell like abilities? I mean, it says innate rational spells, so yeah, they would probably require. Then, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? So yeah, the CMD was reduced, so I'm gonna show you like basically grapple between the giants, between the kaiju's as uh, as a uh, standard action. Uh, the one will try to. I mean, make a make a CMB check to break, break free. I I mean, to be fair, it also has grapple feats. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. It has. Oh, fuck. Okay, it has body shield. It has choke hold. Uh, Greater Grapple, uh, Rapid Grappler, but no, that's for now. It can only like do a standard to break free. Yep. All right. Use a lot of those speeds. It has to be the one in control. Yeah, I don't. I don't see it. Anyways, uh, okay. Does it get any minuses to CMB to the current situation? Nope. Alright, so it CMB is that much. Damn. Oh, who wants the good news or the bad news? I mean, depending yeah. for whom. The good news is, it's possible that it can fail. The bad news is, it needs to roll a 4. Wow. <laughs> uh, Alright, then it to see, uh, this, uh, get reduce its hit or something. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it takes control of grapple, so Astrak, you're grappled now, I believe. Mm. Does, it, does it take control or does it break free? Break free. I, I think I said break free, so I'm not gonna go back on that. I was unsure, oh, but I'm gonna, in this case, go for the mm. option I think as well, if it, player. If, it's, if it itself is uh, grappling, it also counts as grappled and therefore can't flurry, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's its standard, and it's not gonna move to benefit from the thingy that, essentially, if it doesn't want to move, nothing can move it, even spells and whatnot. So this, the for example, Azrak strike wouldn't work because now it doesn't move, so it ends its turn where it started. Hey, uh, Zexus. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what a clusterfuck. Mm -hmm. Yep, I... No, we should take do that because it's not ready. Bastion stands, oh dear. Yeah, that's the thing that basically gives it that if it's not moving, nothing can move it from there. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Oh... Uh... Shit, I'm just going through my stuff and I can't find any good ones. 
Well, it's been to win, I suppose. Uh -huh. Two attacks. 44... 46 and not, 30 Yeah, damage. but I was gonna ask if it, it doesn't include flank. No damage from acid, so... 25 plus 19 plus... So yeah, that's it. Hmm. Yeah, one hit. Yeah. 44 damage, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's the spins! Mm. Here. Alright, so I'm trying to thin out uh, these saplings for a bit, so being saplings to the south, I'm gonna go try full attack them. So attacks. Okay, against the saplings you are looking for AC18. So, 15 misses. Uh, yes, and the saplings have 20 hit points each. Alright, so, any damage resistances? Resistances, no, they are, I mean, not, not the R, but they do have uh, resist electricity 10. Alright, so, first uh, sapling dies on the first, and, uh, yeah. I think the both saplings to uh, both that one and that one dies. Yeah, they perish and start dissolving into uh, leaves and modes of energy. And Actually, this one is. And uh, the Falcon is going to die bomb this one. Didn't even need many shots, so this thing blow on that one. Okay. 28 to hit. I thought, to, I thought you were about to say he's going to dive bomb the uh, Guardian. I said, no! <laughs> okay. That sapling also goes away. So he is currently 5 feet above ground. I think we're all technically 5 feet above ground if we were on it. Hey, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm the only one that's 30 feet up in the air. Alright, and that's your turn? Yep. Alright, Nero. Uh oh. Goodbye, Donut. Donut. Yeah, okay, so let's have a look here. Oh, God, I, I don't feel reliable. I don't think I can reliably hit the big thing, so. I'm going to delay for until just after the saplings, just to see if more of them turn up. Okie dokie. So, after saplings. Very well. Yeah. I mean, yes, indeed. Nice. <laughs> oh no, there's more of them. More gremlins. <laughs> there's been a model. Uh... Nah, it's just pruning. Pop him off from the ground. As the fight becomes more. Actually, no, for now, until the face changes and the map changes. Uh, so, the one that was present. Wait, uh, what? Let's see, it's gonna. It's gonna. Don't worry about it. It's gonna. Tap... Let's see, either on. Uh... Zixos or Nero. <laughs> One uh, Nero to Zixus. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay, so this one, you know, the, the, the something more kind of like jumps up, hey! and then it's gonna double move. You should see how, how it's moving. So if it provokes, go for it. It does not. 
smack me. Mm. It, it should provoke from uh, Azrak too, right? Yeah, oh, it does provoke Azrak. Do you have a hand free? Yes. I have two hands. And I free. hand it over to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lender hand. <laughs> so we could provoke here. Mind if I cut in? There you go. I think it's dead. Yeah, you grab it, like, phoosh, swipe as it tries to jump uh, up and it essentially evaporates. Alright, uh, Nero. Okay, cool. Nero is going to claim. Um, so, on top of the big one that he's already claimed, he's going to claim these two up here. Oh, I didn't notice, so, okay. Yeah. He's going to claim these two up here, and then this one down in the s middle of this group. Very well. And now the best part is, is that because the big guy's claimed, Nero can teleport while not taking any attacks of opportunity. Woo! What a gift. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> what a gift. Uh, that's uh, it's one, two, four. I guess that should be five. That should be three. Okay. Yeah. So Nero is going to. Teleport to here. Um, before going to use uh, Sands of Time Tornado. I need to just add in that plus one. Just give me a moment. Okay, that should be fine. No, apparently not. Come on! Uh. God, I hate this so much sometimes. Oh my god, let me update the damage value, please. Free me, please. Oh, so you'd better get back here so we can get flanking, you git. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am I mean, are you, which one are you target, targeting? Oh, it's oh. nowhere around me. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, uh, all three of them just... Poof. Yep, I'm then going to... Utilize. I'm then gonna utilize. No, I, oh fuck! No, I can't do that. No. Monkey. I, I don't have the Monkey. stance active. Fuck. Um. I was gonna utilize a counter then into massacre. Um. Damn, I can't. Okay. Well, either way, Nero is going to teleport back to. No, he's already teleported. He's... Yeah. I'm gonna use a relativity burst to get back here. Uh, and that is my turn. Alright. Azrak. Hey, I'm going to... Uh, I'll actually use my uh, Strength of Hell boost as a swift action. And then uh, do one of these. One of these! One hit! <laughs> yeah, the second uh, attack hits. Ouch. Which, that's all I needed. Which, it does an extra... 3 damage, so it does... 36. <laughs> 72. Jesus. I think you got him. <laughs> which yep. actually also does 29. So I just think CMD was definitely a right choice. <laughs> because you can get crazy results, but sadly it's CMD on basic one was like 99, so <laughs> Alright, 65 60. total. And it is grappled. Yes. Very well. I mean you are doing it. We're fighting Maka, guys. This is what happens when you leave me alone for 20 minutes to far. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> fighting what? Sorry? I mean, it's not it's not Nasus. Uh, he's not full raid boss. Exactly. Okay, like, I mean... we only need five people to fight him, and he's fighting back, and he's almost winning. <laughs> Alright. Let uh... me make Nero Cassidy. <laughs> mm, Should, sure, give... yeah. Should I give myself haste or just keep throwing bombs? Because I'm getting low. Well, once you're out of bombs, that might be the time to do something else. But right now, bombs are probably what we need. Mm. Uh, 
Grab on bums. The painted world. Oh no, I missed the bomb. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> All right. Uh, it's at 108 you... force, force damage. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That's why I left the damage being, you know, that, so I can determine if it's going to be, you know, fire or force. 100 and... Does force do less, though? Eight. Uh, it does D4 instead of D6. Mm-hmm. Right. Still... 108. Great to damage with, but... What's that? But still great to damage with. Alright. So, this is what's gonna happen. Gonna do its turn, and at the end of it, uh, the cavern around you, the reality uh, that constitutes for this cavern, seems for a brief moment to be shattering like a broken uh, glass. As for that, uh, well, fuck it, this time it will try to. Instead of taking breaking free, it will try to smack you, Azrak. Alright. With a slam power attack, and it's taking how much minus to hit you? Um. It loses. Use, um. Dex to hit or strength to hit? Uh, strength. I think it's just a minus two then. Minus two. All right, so thirty-three instead of thirty-five. That's gonna hit. <laughs> What's the rules? Could... Come on, one. It's not a one. Okay. It had a one. However, out of everyone here, you have a good shot at surviving this. Very good shot. Probably the best shot at surviving this. <laughs> I'm still above hundred hit points. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, uh, I have my max is around 180 something with uh, elemental body. <laughs> Woo! Nice. All right. Nice. Right. Slow HP. Very, very fucking nice. All right. Let me copy uh, that. And as I mentioned, as the energy, because when you strike in it, you see that from the myriad of wounds, there is some sort of energy uh, leaking, and with that amount of mana surging f back and forth throughout this uh, area, uh, you will not exactly arrive at a new place, because you don't feel like you moved anywhere, but your surroundings change in a flash of a blinding light, gaining almost fail-like uh, nature, however, uh, uh, however, you will be, as this is like a, even if beautiful, a violent shake, uh, you will be mm, displaced, rather, mm. places will be slightly mm. shifted as you arrive at the uh, second phase of the map, and I need to change. Fuck, I yeah, I, knew, I need to copy the token because it, it's not at full hit points. It's not at full hit points. It has, it doesn't any hit points. And now I forgot that it also has fast healing ten, which I was forgetting to apply. But wait, is it still not grappled by me? Is it up there now? Actually. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give you that, that you were grappling it and you have like insane uh, checks, so it was like somewhere like here and you would be like here-ish. Yeah. <laughs> However, everyone else uh, starts on this map where I put the... Uh, where I put the tokens. 
Ace this map, hell yeah. Alright. Uh, do we roll new initiative? No, no, or... initiatives uh, stay the same, it's just we're misplaced, so to speak. Well, we okay. don't see our initiatives because it's a new map. Yeah. yeah. Fuck! That's why I was curious. Hold on. Right. Right. It's because of the tokens. So, hold on. Which means we are. Hey, my apologies. Okay. But wait, I think I. Co no, wait, I copied the tokens before your old initiative. No, and um, that's not what it would do. No, no, no. You, you see, the, we don't see initiatives on other maps, no matter how they're rolled. So uh, you have Even to delete the initiatives over, and copy them or yeah. re roll new initiatives. Mm. All right. The easiest way to do it is just go to this map, right click on Nero, give him the same initiative and delete the old Nero in the turn order, right click on success and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Very well. Uh, yeah, I forgot that the initiative thingy was doing things like that. Fuck. Something? No, okay. Okay, so. Azrak was six. So, Azrak, you see yours now? Yes, uh, I do. Alright, uh, Twisted Guardian was 31. Uh, six mm -hmm. was, was 26.14. Cheruk was 1905. A uh, was 1512. And Abby. Hmm. I believe uh, everyone sees themselves. Yeah. Yep. And I remember Nero yep. was delaying after saplings. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Said so. What was that? Uh, we found some that says if we do this again, say something about. Uh, was it? Uh, copy token to new map and then select token and use control U to add it to that turn tracker. Fuck! <laughs> there, I'll, I'll send you what I, I found real quick. I anyway, we think it now, but it's cool to know for future. Send it in yeah. the description. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, question Looking at the time. Uh, uh, I do need to get going on my end because I've got stuff to do. So it's actually a good stopping point then, since we, you know, went to the new map. Mm -hmm. Next time on. And yeah, forgot to include, but literally, if the frozen bitch will be also coming, because she wants to prove. Yeah, I Zil will get his scene, but not on this fight. But he will get some sort of epilogue sinful. Mm. Well, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I think if things proceed all right, then it is highly possible. Although I'm not promising anything, but it is highly possible that the next session will be the final one. Oh! Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> wow. Mm. The question is: Should I be leveling up, uh, Zello, or do you already have someone else planned? Nah, right now you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to level mm. him up. I have some ideas for other campaigns, but not for continuation of, like more prequel mm. ones, to be honest. And not on roll twenty, so it's gonna be the case of like making character on, mm. 
Oh, they're like... Well, uh, it's supposed to be in the foundry. <laughs> yes, as, as for um, after... Uh, I'm thinking, because uh, I want to run Weeby Goblins, mm -hmm. but I want Quirk to be in Weeby Goblins, so if Quirk cannot or does not want to play on Sunday, I will wait until she is done with Strahd on Saturdays to do that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Of all. Yeah, sounds reasonable enough. Yep. So, so am I listening right there? Is the next session on this the last session? Mm. It very well Probably. might be us, yeah, this, the combat will finish, and yeah, we will yeah. see what, what happens, because sadly, yeah, Grave has mm -hmm. got enough juice for his wish. At the very least, this something will happen that will greatly shake the status quo of the, of the world, mm -hmm. and affect the wonders as a whole. But yeah, I'm, yeah, 99% sure the next one will be will be the last yeah sounds good so yeah looking forward to it and thanks for the session mm -hmm. yeah. thanks, thanks for thanks the session for the